Bolt Keeper Wixwell. I cannot wait to get my hands on him. And I think today is that day, but we got to do a few things because we need 16 of the Terexes or four of the epic, I think it's Arwens, to fuse into Vault Keeper Wixwell. I have 13 of the Terexes and zero of the Arwids, but we can fix that here today. But before we hop in, guys, if you want to download and play Raid Shadow Legends, make sure you scan that QR code or follow the link down there in the description and you'll get started with a lovely epic champion, Tayrell, one of my all time favorites. Well, let's get back to Wixwell here because I didn't realize something. I wasn't paying attention when this summon rush started. It was only got a little bit left, but the summon rush, I was just like, okay, yeah, we just get our Terex, we'll be good. This is all I looked at. And then I scrolled down to see how many points you get for each shard. And I realized there's an Arwid in here. Yeah, I messed up big, guys. I did an extra Terex event because I didn't realize there was an Epic in here. I wasn't paying attention. I don't know what I was thinking, to be honest with you. So right now, we are at 4386 points. We need to get to 5400 to unlock the Arwid, which will be the last piece we need to get Vault Keeper Wixwell. Now, I don't have a lot of shards, and we need just over a thousand points. We need a thousand fourteen points. Now, if we take a look here, we got sacreds worth 500, primals worth 200, voids worth 120, ancients worth 20, and mysteries worth one. Now, the clan boss wasn't nice to me. I was hoping the clan boss would have gave me an extra sacred. I actually got this sacred from the uh, Doom Tower, but I was able to get, I, I have two primals, I should say, and I was able to get my hands on a void and an ancient shard here today so that should help us out and then whenever we have left we're just gonna pull mysteries to fill that gap so we're gonna start off by pulling some shards i don't even know what's on progressive here so let's go let's pull here and let's just see i mean how many points we get i, I don't actually expect us to get anything here yeah we're that doesn't matter that doesn't matter we just need the points here we're kind of just basically wasting shards to be honest with you all right or where are we going oh well i don't even remember where we we're going i i don't even remember but essentially we're wasting these shards to kind of get there Let's see, that's 500. This will be 400. Or no, that'll be that'll be 400 with that. And then with the void, it should be enough to get us there. We could do mystery shards, but I I forgot that we pulled that void from something. So I think with the void, we'll actually have enough to get there. But let's do that. Let's see who's on void boost. I can use him, and then I don't I don't even know why I'm looking. We're, we're just we're, I, I'm not even gonna, I'm gonna even take a look because we're just pulling one shard. It's not it's not gonna matter. It's not gonna matter. We just want the points for the event that's all yeah we're gonna get a rare I, I don't know why i'm putting that much effort into it i'm i'm such a bozo but i think that gets us where we need to be let me see let me see let me see yeah that gets us exactly where we need to be now we have all the pieces to get vault keeper wixwell i'm not sure that i have enough food here this could get a little bit interesting so let's buy, start by getting this arwid up first because we gotta get her up uh to five i guess ascending right now doesn't matter but we gotta get her up to five and our food sources are looking really grim here guys oh they're looking really really grim uh so we'll go ahead and we'll sacrifice there and then we just need to increase her levels to get through here yeah 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 i don't even know if i have enough of these uh yeah we definitely don't uh let's waste some blues oh oh wait i, I didn't even hit the button uh, that's that's gross now let's fully ascend her are we gonna not have enough reds Ooh, we might have to get some reds we'll see so we get her up now these guys they're already up but we have to fully ascend them so let's go ahead and let's ascend all right nice uh get get that get that's good and then we gotta do this 12 times but of course we gotta farm arcane All right, guys, so we got all of those Terexes put together here. So let's go ahead and let's get them in here so we can fuse. And then we'll kind of move forward because then we're going to have to do the epics and get them up to five star. And it's just going to be a pain. It's just going to be a pain. But we'll get there and we're going to get Wixwell today for sure. And um, take a look at him. Maybe consider how to build him. Maybe, maybe just throw a little build on him. And then maybe we could talk. Uh, oh, wait, should I just be doing these one at a time maybe? Yeah, maybe, because I feel like it might pull. Yeah, yeah that, that's what I was afraid of. Yeah, it's going to pull awkward ones out of there. All right, so we get one of the Arwen there. Uh, can we just go unlimited Arwens? Yeah. Arwid? Whatever whatever her name is. Um, maybe? 
Yeah, I guess. I guess it doesn't. I mean, yeah, I guess it really wouldn't matter. That's okay. We just need three of them. I, it, I don't. I don't know what we were doing there. That's. That's okay. That's okay. So let's get these going here. Let's get. Uh, oops, let's get one more set in. Okay, nice, nice, and we will have the extra there. And then we'll fuse this one now. I gotta go ahead and I gotta get these three leveled up and ascended. I don't know if I have enough red potions. I guess we're gonna find out. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, I don't know what happened there. I had to completely restart, but we did get our three, plus we already have our one. So let's get these three leveled up, ranked up, ascended, and then let's go ahead and let's get Wixwell. All right, guys, I had to wait for Force to open so that I could get all of these fully ascended. So the, vi the video is gonna be a day late, but... Look at that. We have the fusion. Now, hold on, I need my screenshot. And now we can summon Vault Keeper Wixwell. Well, we can fuse him, and since the video's a day late, we'll build him up also. I made sure I had enough food, food to do this. Oh, baby, let's go. It's, it, oh, this is nice. Vault Keeper Wixwell! The first community voted champion. Decrease our allied defense in all battles. His passive here at the start of each round places counterattack on this champion for one turn that can't be removed. And then at the end of his turn, replaces that counterattack. I, I had trouble reading that. Just don't don't worry about that. Then he has the intercept stacks. So the intercept is basically going to re not let uh, crowd control debuffs be placed on your champion that you put this on. It basically intercepts those debuffs. So it's going to be really, really valuable. Also places increased defense and shield buff on all allies proportional to his defense so we want him built in defense attacks all enemies with 75 percent chance of placing 50 percent decrease attack and then also increases the value of all shields I, I think everyone's thinking hydra with him right i think that's the thing he's also gonna provoke on there like he's like he's built for hydra so let's get him kitted up a little bit here and i guess let's try it in hydra i don't know i got my hydra open but i don't know I don't know what necessarily to use with it. Like I, I could build a champion. I'm just not good at like building teams. All right, so I'm gonna go over how I built him here. I don't know that we'll get a lot of gameplay. We'll have to do that in the next video. I'm just so far behind on things, uh, but I'll try to get another video out really soon and we'll show him off maybe in Hydra and stuff because that's really where I'm looking forward to trying him out in Hydra. And honestly, I wish this build was better. I just, I don't know. I kind of didn't really know where to go with him. Look at, at total stats. We have uh, 56k on the hit points. We have 5100 on the defense because remember the shield he places is based on the defense. 270 on the speed, 366 on the accuracy. Wish the accuracy was a little bit higher. Speed's decent here. Uh, as far as the masteries, I went with the, just a general PvP or uh, PVE build on the masteries because I only plan on really running him in Hydra for me personally. Um, then I went with accuracy on the banner, defense there, defense HP ring. Uh, that ring was actually pretty nice and i mean it's slayer but that doesn't matter and i went with two uh perception sets i honestly wanted to go three perception sets i just didn't like i don't know the last one i just couldn't like get even these aren't amazing but i had a double speed roll we had speed roll there with hp uh, but we went speed defense with a triple roll there and then another defense set here uh, it was kind of hard balancing the defense with the hp but i think we did a decent job with them so I'm going to test him out next, and I think that's just going to take a little bit uh, to kind of find the combinations that are going to work with them. So that'll be in the next video. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Subscribe, come back, and we will check him out with some live gameplay. I, yeah, I don't like cutting this off right here. It's just my schedule has been a little bit hectic, guys. I apologize for that, but we'll come back. We'll get a get some gameplay of Vault Keeper Wixwell, and I'll let you know my feedback. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Bashing.